ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today, what should we... Here we go again. Today, what we shall be making are some small tent pegs, not very small tent pegs. They're about um, two and a half metre, 12 mil round bar. Two and a half foot, 12 mil. <laughs> A two and a half metre, 12 mil round bar. <laughs> Today what we shall be making are big um, tent pegs for a um, customer that we had in last video uh, with the rose arch. She um, has a couple more rose arches that she just wants to hold down because it is very windy where she lives. Um, so we're going to make tent pegs. We're going to use two and a half foot, 12 mil round bar. Um, and we're going to use two foot of that to go into the ground, the other half foot shall be for um, the bit that comes over in your hand. Eh? Yes, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Right, so we just measured half a foot down and we're just going to put a little um, cut with the hacksaw just so I know how much I can use um, for the bit that goes around. I could taper it down and make it longer and all this will be used to go into the ground. Now I'm going to do this for this, we did it for seven more as well, and then we can get to forging. Right, so, all around it, start off with, just tape it down. Thank you. 
base just on the tip of here, that's going to hammer the rest of this into the ground. So now we're going to bend this round just to make it a little bit more decorative and make it look a bit nicer. end, all that to go into the ground. Um, the last two things we've got to do well, is put the taper on and then I'm going to do the rest of them and all the ones I'm going to weld in this little piece here just to fill it up and then I'll grind it down um, and it should look better. Right, let's get to it. did at first as you saw is we tapered it down and then we bent it round this one I, do, I tested because look all those cracks in there yeah so and there was another one like that so we bend 
them two, they're out of the picture. And I've got a couple more, and this is what this is um, one that I took to Kedra, the customer, yesterday to see how the design was. Cleaned it up, oiled it up. It doesn't look too bad. Um, and I started off using a turning tool, but today um, I took it nice and slow because I was getting a little bit rushed yesterday. I took it nice and slow. And I had to think about um, how I should make them, and I was able to use different parts of the anvil, such as well, the bigger part of the horn, the smaller part of the horn, even this part, just to bend the pieces where I wanted them to go. Ended up, I didn't take the whole thing down. I just made it a little bit tighter, bulkier. And I, th I think personally, it looks nicer. Um, but you still got that little tape on the end there. And we've got about three of them that have that tapered down end. Um, these three. Uh, but the other five. They are just big, bulky, and been taken down so much. So, right now, what we've got to do is we've got this first one that we did, and we put this crack, or the crack, sorry, the um, mark that we made, so we know how long the half foot is here, and we accidentally put it on the outside. Now, with all the other ones, I put it on the inside, so the uh, the gap closes up on itself. So you can't see it. This one we put it on the outside. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to fill that with weld, grind it off nice and flush, um, and then they all should be ready to get cleaned up with the wire brush and then oiled up. And it should look lovely. So let's get to it. So we've got it all set up. I'll just put the little vice on here. It's probably stay here. It's brilliant. We can, um, it hooks up to the welding table. Um, I also. Uh, thank you, Uncle Brian. He gave us his old weld. Um, he was, said that we could take basically anything we want out of it. Um, and he suggested getting the nozzle and the shield out of it. Now, if I take the shield off... Now, the old shield was down to about here on our one. Because um, when we first started using it, it wasn't working, so we had to snip it down all the way to that length. That's how much of the nozzle we lost. Um, so thank you, Uncle, Uncle Brian. We have now got a new nozzle and shield, so it should hopefully work a little bit better than it did before. Hoping. There you go, all welded up and ground off. Can't even tell that there was a seam in there. Excellent. So now, time to clean everything off. Be it for this video thank you so so much for watching i do hope you enjoy this has been a good learning experience i think um making these almost like tent pegs but very big tent pegs biggest tent pegs i've ever seen it's been a bit of a learning experience um quite nice to just use the anvil during the end um and quite nice to just take the time to think over it and think of different parts of the anvil that i can use 
to make um, the sort of shape that I wanted nicely, uh, quickest way I could. Please like if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on notifications so you do not miss out on any new videos, uh, comment what you liked, what you didn't like, um, any projects that you'd like me to do um, that are quite challenging, give, put them down in the comments and I'll consider giving them a go. Hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.